as it has been a bit since I've uploaded, but I wanted to address something that we have got. I've recently purchased a semi truck. Now the reason for the semi truck wasn't that I needed to go be a driver or anything like that. It was actually because my pickup really wasn't big enough to handle a lot of the trailers and the loads that I've been pulling. So I started looking around online. I tried to find a pickup that I could afford and I kept running into the same problem that everything that was a big three quarter ton and up truck was like $15,000 for a used truck. So I did a little bit more digging and I started noticing that these single axle semi trucks could be found roughly around 5,000. And that's about what I gave for this one, roughly $5,000. And that's not really what I have in it anymore, but I wanted to talk about this truck and just kind of let you guys know, I've got a few videos on the way about this truck as a pickup truck. Now I did custom make this bed. I welded all this together, uh, made it out of sheet metal and these sides are removable. Um, you can see they're actually just held in with little pins here. And I've got expanded metal there so that we don't have anything uh, building up in there. On the back, I've still got access to my fifth wheel plate. I've had a regular trailer hitch put in here so that I can use this to pull normal trailers. Now, if that looks really low, it's because the air suspension on the back end of the semi is not active right now. And this truck does have a few issues, mind you. But I'm going to be talking about several of the issues and some of the things that come with trying to use a semi truck as a pickup. So whether or not this will be practical is to be totally to be seen, but I do have to say when I have pulled things with it, it has been fantastic. I've come nowhere close to overloading it and I've never had any issues with having enough torque to move anything. But that's all I've got for you today. Look forward to some videos. If you guys have any questions about what this entails, let me know in the comments. I plan on covering all the paperwork, how the legalities of it, how I'm getting away with driving this without a CDL, and just all the other little hoops and hurdles that I have to overcome to make something that is clearly not convenient or practical work for my purposes for much, much less than I could have spent on another truck. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. And if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments and I will do everything I can to address them. And maybe you know something I don't. Feel free to let me know.